guys, this is Kitty ASJ27, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the Pokemon Sandile. And just so you know, I'm helping her. Who's helping her? And I, I'm, I'm also going to make a Pokemon collection of my Pokemon toys. This is one of hers. It's Flip Flop. Flip Flop. Oh, wait, we're swirling it. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make Sandile. It's not going to look exactly like it. But I'll try. So yeah, let's get started. The materials that you will need are black. Um, you're gonna need three blacks for the eyes. Um, always, always three blacks. When you are doing the eyes, it just looks better. Th three blacks, three blacks. But if you don't have three, you you can use two blacks. And then, yeah, you can use two blacks if you like. I am not using two. So I have my three blacks. I'm going to need three blacks. Approximately, I, I didn't count out these bands. Well, three blacks for the eyes. You approximately need 100 um skin color or tan bands to yeah like that and for me i'm just using black for the eyes but i'm gonna use um dark green for the scales that's not 100 uh, well approximately okay? okay so let's get started you're gonna start off with your lean arrows going this way and you're going to take two tan bands and go out. Take two more tan bands and go out. And we're going to make a diamond for the first eye. So, just like this. That's how you make a diamond. Then but you're going to take three black bands and go down the, down the center. Then take a band and wrap it around here four times. So it's two, three, four. Okay, now you're going to take your hook, push back the cap band, grab the three black bands, and pull them up. And you can grab one at a time, or two, then one. Then you're going to push back the cap band again, and grab the two like this, the two that go out to the left, then grab the two that go out to the right. Then on the left, you go up in the triangle, and again. And then take this off of your loom. They do make a box. Yes. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Then you're going to take a, ho a holding hook. Let me just find my holding hook. Stick it in. All of these loops. And pull it off. And this is what your eye is going to look like. Now, we're going to make the other one. We're going to now make the other eye. So do the same thing. And right now I'm going to go a little bit faster because you guys already know. Then you hook. Just grab one. That would be bad if I just took it off the loom with just one band. So it's like that. Then take it off again. Put it on your holding hook. All the loops and pop it off. Now 
Now you have your eyes. And it might take a few, uh, a little bit to adjust them. I have to adjust mine. So the black. And you can even pull the black out if you need to. So it's like, there. So it's like this. Right? So yeah, now we're going to make the little feet. Let's see a dial. So you're going to take two bands, go down, another two, go down, another two, and do that four times on your loom. So first do two, and then go on, and then now you're going to do the little spikes on this feet. I'm going to use green. So you're going to take a single band, double it, place it on, place it under, cap it, four times, then do it again, and then again. So you have three for each little front feet. These are the front ones. Whoa, got two bands. Oh. Gonna move that. Okay, and then cap. side. Now you're going to hook all the six of the little um, spikes on his feet. So we'll hook the six. Oh, tan band just went under my bed. I'll get that one in the next clip. Oh, sorry. Push back just the cap bands and just go up. And yeah, now you have it. Push those down and then get your skinny get a skinny hook and get all the all of them on just for the first side first. Just for one of the sides. And when you take it off, just adjust them so it should look like this. And then flip your loom around so it's like this. And on this peg, attach one of the loops like this. One of the loops. And it's going to be facing outwards. And then on your other one, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go, you're gonna go um, to the other side. And then on the last one, you're gonna go straight. It's gonna look like this. So now it should look like this. Straighten this one out. And. You're going to hook it, so push those loops back, push all of them back, and go up, and if one of your loops falls off, just put it back on, doesn't really matter, and then just hook up, and then take that off, and this is your first foot. That was your first one. And then you're going to do it with the second one. By the way, you can just leave your feet to the this, to this side. And now we're going to make the back legs. So back legs, you're 
just gonna do two instead of three. And you're gonna do the same thing. Okay, and I went on and made both legs. I have one, and I'm taking the other one off the loom. So it's like that. And now we're actually going to work on the real body. This time. Okay, so you're gonna take two bands and go outwards and go down on both sides twice I mean uh twice actually sorry and then go inwards and now go straight down the middle sorry guys I need to grab more tan bands. So you go down the center. It's going to look like a person, but it, trust me, this is not a person. I know that. Okay. It's Sandaya. Okay. Now you're going to take two bands and go out. Words. And now take the two color the two bands of your stripe color and go down twice with your stripe color then go down twice with the the skin tone color the color of sand dial on both sides sorry my sister's playing Okay, let me grab my other bands. Okay, then grab two more. Whoa. And go down twice with your strip color. And now with the peach color, the tan color, you go in. Uh -uh, you mean setting up stuff? So yeah, like this. Then we're gonna go down the middle. So go down once with your color of the body. Down once, I mean down twice with this color. And you can't do the pink part on him. I was gonna do that with my, with my pink bands. And coming up, I'm gonna be showing you my Arloom earrings how to make them. This is the basic design, I just need to find the keys. The ring, well the rings, sorry. So, actually, we're actually just gonna do the belly. You don't, it's, if you want, it's gonna be all pink up here. Like pink, like this part's gonna be pink, if you want that. Um, I don't really want it, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going down once and twice with the green. And on the last one, you're going to go once with the tan. Well, the, yeah, the tan, your tan bands. So let me just get two more. Those aren't the same colors. Sorry, I'm trying to find the same colors. There, and go down. Now I'm gonna make the tail. I scooted my loom over, and we're just, it's gonna be a tiny tail. Take a band, take a band, and wrap it around your hook three times. Sorry. Three. And take, this is the last part of it. So now take two tans and slide that on. And that's the tail. Now we're gonna put it on the loom. So just place that. So that's the tail. 
and we're gonna make now we're gonna make the nose if so for the nose you're gonna take so this is the first part take a band wrap it around your hook three then um take two bands two bands of your skin and you're gonna slide that and you're gonna do that again so let me just do it off camera it's really quick there and now you're gonna take two bands and slide both of those on both of the little humps onto your hook like that and put it back on and now take two of your um, stripe, two of your stripe color, slide that on, and you're going to place that on your loom so take a single tan band and slide that on take your loom and put it across whoa let me do that again because it fell off oh so. she is really hard to fit balloons because she picks pants a lot okay like that and you have your nose now um you are going to place the holding rubber bands. So now we're at the body. Take a single rubber band, twist, double it. Oh wait, wrong color, but since I have it out, I'll just do Whoa, I'm so sorry. I'll just do that. So I attached um, that band that I doubled there and then do it once more, place it at the bottom. Now with the green, you're gonna twist, double it, and place it down, going down. I mean, going up the loom. You can go down or up, doesn't matter. I am going up. Whoa. Like that. One more, one more time. And yeah. Now we're going to start hooking. So you're going to grab your hook. Go down to the tail. Push back those bands for the tail. And grab the top two or whatever. Where am I going with this? Oh, I grabbed the wrong band, sorry about that. There, I got it way up close for you guys. So you're gonna push back that, and I'm looking for these bands right there, so pull them, push back, grab the top. Okay, one second. So you're gonna push back the cap band, grab the top, two bands and pull them outwards go back in top two go up that was not two and then do the other one now you're gonna grab the leg that has two loops so three and stick it on your hook and then go to the side loop it halfway and then pull your legs on to it like that and do it to the other side grab the loops like this wait let me just grab. yeah put them on your hook push that and yeah, do it again. And put it back. 
<laughs> now you're gonna hook up the whole entire center and I'll see when I'm finished. And now since I hooked up this whole center, you're gonna hook this up. Hook up the sides. You can hook up whatever side you want first. I am hooking up the right side because I want to. And just hook up to here. Because now we're going to take the front legs, stick our hook through those loops. <coughs> Whoa. I'm sorry about that. It's just a Pokemon toys holding that so that it can fall. It's like sea bass. Yeah, perfect. And then get it on your hook. Push back. Grab that band. Slide those loops onto. Put that back. Do and do that to the other side. Sorry, I had to fix the camera. It was falling. Don't want that to fall again. So push back. Go up. And by the way, I am using the um, Rainbow Loom Metal Tipped Hook in the color pink. I also have a blue crochet hook. Okay, then I stop there. Let me just fix these bands. Take your leg and put it on your hook just like the first time. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it keep? I think I think that Pokemon is not strong enough. Yeah, give me another one. Okay. Uh, you said Regigigas. Mm. Okay. Regigigas. Okay. See if you can do this. Perfect. Cause he has hands that can. Okay, so he's on. So we're there. Mm -hmm. Push. It's on your hook, and then push back. <laughs> And slide. It's like, like no Pokemon going like that. on. One second. I got an assistant to hold it. And Which is Woo. Okay. So now you're going to go here, push back, and grab the bands that go into the center of the neck. Do it on the other side. And now here comes the jerky part. Wait. Actually, before the tricky part, get your holding hook with the eyes on it, and we're going to place the eyes now. Wait, okay, so this is going to be super tricky. So, take the loops one at a time. I mean, two at a time. Just put it on there. They, they can't see it, the camera. Like the... And you have to be super duper, extremely careful with this part. Like why? Because you don't want, if it falls off, that is the terrible th this thing in the... You have to restart the whole thing that me? No, you have to restart the eyes, and the eyes are really hard to put on, so... And why do they even oh, make eyes? Oh, yes. Let's see. Eyes. Right. them. Put them on. Just why? Oh, okay. And if you want, actually, I'm not going to use these eyes. So let's go back to the bottom of our loom. Just and we're going to use beads instead. I have to like eyes on. Okay. So you're going to do the same triangle. So... Whoa, let's do the same triangle as we did before. Uh, whoa. Why the and take your crochet hook, or if you don't have one, just slide out. three. So take one bead, put it on your hook, and take, wait. 
Oh, there it goes. So hard, right? Yes, and take those three black bands. Whoa! And put the bead. Oh, my bead fell off. So take it and slide that through the three bands. And yeah, put that right there. And then you're going to cap it. So it's like that. Push you that down. You have to do it like three times, right? Four. Four? Okay. And, oh my gosh. You know what? One second. Okay. Hey. I have it there. We're going to push that. One second. This is so annoying. Do you want me to pause it? No. Okay. So you're going to push back and grab the three black bands. She's got a hook to pull this. I'm getting tired. Pull those up. Then push back. Come on. Pop me. And pull the bands here. And then if you grabbed any extras, go into grab that band off and pull it to where it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh there. It might take some twisting and turning, but you'll get it. There. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna hook up the sides. And you're gonna do this again on the other side. This is so tricky. Now take it off. I don't think and put little it on kids are to make this. Can make this like <sighs> oh my And yeah, now you're gonna make another one. And this is the end of part two of how to make a sand dial.